What is up, YouTube? It's Lion Span Express coming at you with that man to man press. And with the 34th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Sam Laporta, tight end from Iowa. You know, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this. I've watched uh, two full seasons uh, this season and last season um, on this player specifically. So I have some good film, uh, you know, notes to break down and give to you some good things that he does well and some things that he needs to improve on. And ultimately how he can help the Detroit Lions win games and you know contribute on the offensive side of the ball so you know Sam Laporta he's 6'4 250 pounds so he's pretty pretty good size not super tall but you know he's able to uh, still play you know both the uh, receiving game and also in the blocking game as a tight end so pretty balanced in that aspect you know he's a viable option in the passing game I would definitely like to target him uh, especially his uh, last two seasons of his career uh, you know, he was getting a lot of receptions and a good amount of yards as well. Um, he's thick and he's tough to bring down once he gets the ball, demonstrating good balance once he does catch the ball. So he's really good at, uh, you know, securing the ball and also uh, making plays after the catch. Uh, he isn't a burner, but he has enough vertical speed uh, that he can push downfield. You know, he ran like a 4.59 at the combine. So he's got some, you know, got, got some good speed, not like elite speed, but it's definitely there um, and it shows on film. You know, he's got some upside given his skills and being in a program that historically produces high quality tight ends in the NFL. If you guys didn't know, Iowa is basically tight end U. Uh, they produce so many tight ends, including, uh, you know, TJ Hawkinson, who we all know, uh, Sam, uh, Sam Laporta, obviously, um, George Kittle, Noah Fant, Dallas Clark. Like, they're, they're, there's a lot of guys that come from uh, Iowa. The list goes on and on and on because uh, they produce high quality tight ends. And, you know, I think Sam Laporta, um, while he might not be up to those necessarily those guys, he's definitely a really quality tight end um, that you can bring in and do some really good things uh, on the offense. You know, he does have some things that he needs to improve on. I think, you know, he is uh, he does have an issue securing the ball during the catch at times. And that leads to a few focus drops throughout games. You know, his I think his drop percentage is at like 10 percent. So it's a little bit high. Um, you'd like him to get that down and, you know, secure the catch more with his hands. Um, at a little bit more of a consistent rate. Um, I know once uh, once he probably drops his first pass, you know, I hope it's not one of those things where like Lions fans, you know, start booing or, you know, giving him the, you know, Eric Iran, you know, treatment or even TJ Hawkinson to an extent because uh, because we've had those guys in the past, you know, he's basically replacing TJ Hawkinson. And so we're obviously going to have to live up to, you know, high expectations, but he was taken later than TJ Hawkinson. TJ Hawkinson was a top 10 pick. Eric Ebron was a first round pick. This is a second round pick, still a very high second round pick, but nevertheless, he, you know, he's not, he wasn't taken as high as those guys. Not saying that the expectations aren't high, but, um, you know, I think that we're getting a good player um, that really can help us out on the offense side of the ball. I didn't think they personally were going to go tight end so early. I thought they were pretty comfortable with the tight ends they had. You know, they had Brock Wright, Shane Zilstra. They drafted James Mitchell last year in the fifth round. Thought they kind of had a good three going with those three tight ends but um this is good you know if they're gonna draft a guy like him though they're gonna have to utilize him they can't do what they did with tj hawkinson and not get him the ball enough uh basically you're getting a tj hawkinson kind of player that is you know he's faster he, i think he can make plays a little bit more um and also he's cheaper he's younger and you know it's all part of you know brad holmes plan i'm not gonna lie i actually had a couple tight ends ahead of him including michael mayer and Darnell uh, Washington. However, I get why they took Sam Laporta. He's a Dan Campbell kind of player. He's gritty, um, and also, you know, it just it kind of makes sense that uh, they would, uh, you know, dip into that, you know, uh, well that is known as Iowa football. So basically, you know, uh, it's it's always a wait and see approach for me when it comes to these draft picks. This isn't like one that I would write home about, but it's still, you know, a pretty solid draft pick. Um, and yeah, so I kind of just had some time to think about it, give you guys my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think about Sam Laporta in the comment section down below. And as always, go Lions. And with the 45th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Brian Branch, safety from Alabama. Yes, sir. Hey, this is, might be my favorite pick so far of the NFL Draft. I'm so excited to have Brian Branch. He's actually one of the players that I had on my list. I had on my big boards. I thought he was going to get taken in the first round. He fell. Uh, slipped to the second round. Brad Holmes did some finagling, ended up trading up with the Green Bay Packers. 
what yeah i know it's kind of crazy it's like trading with the enemy but it ended up working out just fine the packers were willing to trade down uh and we were able to trade up and get one of the best safety prospects in this year's draft um and he's more than just that you know and i'll get into it a little bit more uh, if i can control my enthusiasm but <laughs> thank you brad holmes thank you for this pick like if i'm just keeping it a buck the first couple picks you know i was good with like i like the players i just thought you know they were a little bit of reaches but i'm still you know i'm fine with the picks however the the past couple picks you know in the second round have just blew me away like i'm, I'm I, and it starts with brian branch he is just a great football player and you know, i thought i'd give you guys some you know insight on what i you know watch on film and what he can bring to the detroit lions so basically brian branch you know he's six foot 193 pounds honestly i like to compare him uh to minka fitzpatrick uh who was also from alabama I think he's a, you know, a hybrid between a slot corner and a box safety, so he can play either or. Um, you know, he can play you know, zone, he's got good instincts, really good solid tackler. If you watch his film, he can come up and wrap up, make hits. He's also used as a blitzer, so he's versatile. He can you know, get off blocks, um, but he does struggle a little bit sometimes on the perimeter, getting off those blocks. Uh, but yeah, you know, he, he's, not the, he's not the fastest player, but honestly, having a slower 40 time to me doesn't mean anything because he's got that short area quickness and instincts to make plays on the ball and uh you know defend the pass but also come up and make plays against the run as well so you know he's a good coverage player he's a sure tackler and a playmaker on defense to me he's a first round talent that we got in the second round i'm super excited to have him on the team to me you know he's basically cj gardner johnson's protege you know cj gardner johnson was the best one of the best free agents that we brought in um, in my opinion and having a guy like Brian Branch is one he's a great player great player to have on the defense and two he's also you know going to be learning from a great player in CJ Gardner Johnson who are really similar players and do really similar things uh, with their you know skill set so and if case things don't work out with CJ Gardner Johnson for next year you know or after the season you got Brian Branch waiting in the wings he can take over and do his thing but he's definitely going to be getting mixed in with those uh, you know sub packages and three uh you know third uh safety sets as well so really excited to see him here with the detroit lions um you know brad holmes i gotta give you credit this is one of my favorite picks so far and you know i just watching his film you know i really like this player and uh, it, it, it's tough because there's gonna be players that i like there's gonna be players that i might not like as much um but you know Brian Brands, you know, I got you got it's always got to be a wait and see. You can't just, you know, say, oh, he's going to be the next blah, blah, blah. Like, I do have high expectations for him, but I do think that, you know, we have to wait and see how he performs when he's on the field. But I do have high hope that this can be a player that is a Detroit Lion for a long time. So, with that being said, uh, let me know what you guys think about Brian Branch. Were you jumping up and down like I was and screaming? Uh, if you want me to play the reaction, I can do that as well. But uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. And as always, go Lions.